Hey guys, it's Nora. I'm with my mom. Hello. And we have a really fun adventure planned for us today. As you can see here, I have all my metal detecting equipment, including my fins, goggles, dive knife, and of course my metal detector. And we're gonna be looking for some lost treasure. The beach is packed with people, umbrella to umbrella, so hopefully we can find some really cool things. So let's grab our gear, jump into the water, and see what we can find. Me, myself, and I at least give it a try. No waves, no currents. I'm excited. All right, I'm ready to go. So little gear today. I'm used to having my scuba tank. All right, wish me luck. Okay.
All right, guys, I finished up. The sun's starting to set, so I'm gonna go with my mom to have some dinner, then I'll show you what I found today. People are eating on the beach, having bottles of wine, just relaxing after a day. Right there is where I found one of the rings, right by the buoy. This is our view from dinner. I got a steak with fries, salad, sweet potato fries, ribs, and some yeah. And we got virgin mojitos. <laughs> bon appetit. This is my bathroom. Bed. 
bedroom. It's a little tight here, but it's a pretty nice big bed. This is my mom's room. <laughs> yes. So this is a couch bed. We have that open, so it's yeah. So we don't have to open and close it every day. Our kitchen. Our little bathroom. We have a washer which we've been using. And yeah, this is our little Airbnb. We prefer staying in Airbnbs because it's more like the local experience. Mm -hmm. And you save money usually. And you usually have like a kitchen. We've been cooking breakfast. We go out to dinners. Yes, feels like I'm home. Feels like home. Home away yeah. from home. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a closer look at what I found today. I had some pretty cool finds, actually. I'm gonna start with my trash finds. I found a couple of pull tabs, one really crusty bottle cap, a little mystery piece. I'm not sure what this is from. If anyone knows, please let me know. Half a laundry clip. Mm. An aluminum lid or bottom to a can. It looks pretty old. It's been in there for a while. What do you think this is from? Could be like old 2000 year ceramic vase or something. Oh yeah, this could be something ceramic. There were a lot of these in the water, so probably like broken ceramic pieces or old tiles. Yeah. It was pretty cool to see that. So I took one and I actually took this one too because it had a little color on it. These. Oh my god. I found so many of these in Spain. And... I literally found hundreds of these actually. Yeah, in Barcelona. I only found two or three today. I think I lost one. But I believe they're aluminum or melted aluminum, something like that. But they give off really good signals and I'm just glad there's not as many here as there were in Spain. <laughs> Little round piece of metal. This says arena on it. I'm not sure what that's from. If anyone knows, let me know down in the comments. A hair clip, a hair tie, I believe this is. People have been using these for hair ties a lot lately. One of my favorite things about metal detecting in Europe is the coins you find. In the US, the biggest coin you can find is 25 cents, but in Europe, it's two euro, which is about how much right now, mom? Well, one euro is like 1.18 dollars. So two euros are like two point $36. So I found two, three, four. This one's really old. And this is a 10 cent piece. So like five dollars. So I found five dollars. Even though there weren't as many coins in the water as usual, five dollars is still five dollars, guys. This seashell was pretty cool. It has lots of cool colors and little holes all along it. If anyone knows what kind of shell this is, please let me know. I found love today. <laughs> oh. Oh. I never thought I'd find it, but here it is. <laughs> under the sea. Well, I hope one day you find a real love. Can't get any more real than this, Mom. No. <laughs> it's get, getting more real, trust me. I almost forgot to show you guys. Well, first I forgot to show you guys this. It's just a small metal tube. I'm not sure what that's from. But, this was the biggest mystery piece. I've never found <laughs> anything like this before. It looks like it has three holes, probably to get like bolted down or something. And it has three like switches, mm -hmm. or I don't know. I have no idea. If anyone knows what this is or what it's used for, let me know down in the comments because I'm really curious. These like turn this way. It's like gears. You see that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty weird. Yeah. And now, my best finds of the day. First, I have this ring. I don't see any stamps on it. It's golden in color, but unfortunately, I can't test it because I couldn't bring my gold test kit. You're not allowed to pack acid in your luggage, so I couldn't bring that with me, and I'm not sure where I could get that here, but... If this is real gold, I'll let you guys know in the future video. Next is this pretty little ring. It could be silver. I'm not sure. There's no stamp on this one either. It looks like a wedding band. Could it, be white gold too. It could be white gold. It could be silver. We're just not sure because we don't have the stamp on here and we can't test it. 
This is my mom's favorite find. It looks to be a gold earring. Again, on this one, I don't see any stamps, but when I saw this underwater, I thought I found a gold pendant or something. Then I pulled it up and I saw there was like an earring back to it. I think this is gold, guys. It's pretty heavy. I wish I could test. I really am upset that I couldn't bring my test kit with me, but there's no stamps. We can't test it and I'll have to update you guys when I'm able to test it. <laughs> it's so heavy. Next is this pearl earring. Mm -hmm. I didn't metal detect this. I just saw it on the surface, so it's probably a fresh drop. And that's a pretty cool find. And now for the oh. coolest find of the day. Well, <laughs> it's cool because we don't know if it's a diamond or not. So let's go ahead and test this and see if it's a real diamond. Here it is. Found it. No. <laughs> no. It's not real. That would have been so cool if I found a real diamond. But like my mom said, maybe tomorrow, maybe the <laughs> next day we'll be in France yep. for a little while. So stay tuned for those videos, guys. I think it'll be a really good series. Not a bad first day, not a bad first day at all. And I think we'll have even better days. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Buy the merch if you want to support the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Who is this, Banksy? Keep your coins. I, I want, want change. change. And blank walls are criminal. Since this is a blank wall, I'm gonna write something. <laughs> and then down below, write blank walls are criminal. <laughs> See how the uh, apartment owner feels about that. Uh huh. Snacks up here. <laughs> Mandatory snacks. We got some organic biscuits with chocolate, espresso, some more espresso for this espresso machine, bananas. These are the best apples I've ever eaten in my life. A baguette because we're in France and the fridge is full of goodies we have juices this is apricot juice uh -huh. my choice we have some rosé oh that's not a choice too. French rosé I got some lemons we have some coconut yogurt le chevre goat cheese goat cheese we got some organic plain yogurt Tortillas, sausage, eclairs, fresh, cocoa fresh, hazelnuts, milk, and chocolate. So yeah, that was it on today's episode of What's in the Fridge. <laughs>